um, Kathy Williams DeVries here bringing you um, the second in my uh, four part series on the Weber Clarinet Concerto uh, number one. Uh, in this video I'm looking at the second movement, uh, the Adagio Mon on Troppo, um, with the help of um, a music minus one backing track. Uh, please do not ask me to send you an mp3 of this backing track. Uh, you can purchase it for $20 or so uh, from the Music Minus One website and as a bonus you also get the Stamets uh, Concerto uh, plus full performance and slow tempo backing track. Um, this movement is in three parts. Uh, the first beginning the Adagio Manon Troppo, then at Q um, we have a Poco Piu Animato which goes into the minor key um, and has a few um, semi quavers in it uh, before a glorious return of the original theme um, preceded by a wonderful horn solo um, that's just absolutely angelic. So. Um, Things that to look out for in this movement uh, is the long phrasing. Uh, you want ex you want very nice uh, breath control, delicate tonguing, uh, especially the second bar of O, dolce con delicatezza. Um, you want to just caress the reed um, at that point, um, and also a good chance for you to use um, your covered fingerings. Uh, what I mean by that is. Um, is that you have um, throat tones can sound pretty ordinary on most clarinets. So what we do is we have a covered fingering. Uh, this is my covered fingering for A. Just makes it a little more stable, a little bit louder, and I use this one for B flat. So in the first phrase. do it very well that time but you want really nice connections between the octaves and you want really really good subdivision in your head ya da 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 dum and also this F sharp a lot more if I can help it a um, bit stable, a bit more stable, then you really grow into the B. same as the first except um, it's written in here as slurred triplets I do very very soft tanging
differentiate between the dotted quaver, semi-quaver and the triplets. Dolce con delicatezza. So let's um, let's take it back a little bit. bit. I've got it written as slurs. I like to tongue it and very very delicate. And just leave the slightest bit of detachment. You're going your triplets against duplets here. Um, really elongate those triplets as much as you can. into um, the Poco Piu Animato. Um, again in the second last bar of this section before Q it's um, slurred. I like to tongue it. beautiful.
come to the Poco Puro Nato where we go into the minor. Goes to a couple of sequences. Um, so you've got D minor, G minor, and then um, so A minor, I suppose. Um, now, when we go up to the top C, um, I think it's actually sort of a tug of war between you and the orchestra. So, you know, the orchestra comes in and then. Dramatic Sturm und Drang. Let me just take it back a little bit. See, I didn't do it right at the time, I don't know why, but... Or you can go... Either way... I tend to breathe here... is not too sharp but um, yeah just a beautiful legato beautiful sound through there before the reprise and lovely covered A
please note that this D is usually sharp. You can see that I was sort of hovering over the C hole to uh, bring the um, to bring the pitch down. Um, you'll want to do it better than I did it just after T, but the the between the C sharp and the B. beautiful um, covered fingerings from there. So that's the uh, second movement. I hope you found it uh, instructive. Go out and buy the um, Music Minus One um, backing track. Um, I'll be showing you in the next movement um, how effective the slow rendition of it is um, so that you can practice the hard bits um, at a slower tempo. But thanks for listening. Bye for now.